Many countries in the developing world struggle to manage the solid and liquid waste generated in urban areas. And these challenges are aggravated by issues such as urbanization and climate change impacts. And all of that has an impact on health and environment. For two decades now, IMI has been working on safe resource recovery and reuse using municipal solid waste such as organic solid waste, uh, seaweed wastewater or even fecal sludge. IMI not only worked on the sign behind it but even went a step further to collaborate with public and private sector actors in order to pilot some of these innovations which enable us now to propose solutions that are able to recover resources such as water, energy, nutrients or even organic matter. There was a project that IMI um, worked on a couple of years back this project was funded by the African Development Bank. We started rearing fish in the waste stabilization ponds. The idea was that we produce the fish, we sell the fish, and some of the produce can be used to maintain and operate that system. That is how the whole idea started. One key consideration we have had throughout the process was to ensure the safety of the product. And to achieve that, we have engaged in a number of research activities through which we have established what kind of safety measures were necessary to ensure that the products were ultimately safe. This has led to the design of this business model, which relies on the use of treated wastewater to produce broodstock and later on fingerlings. This means that the fish is growing up in a freshwater system and is safe. Trimark was established in 2018 to reuse wastewater from community to produce vegetables and fish. Our key strategy for implementing our model is through PPP, that is public-private partnership approach. We are in strong collaboration with Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly provides Trimark with free access to land and wastewater. And Trimark also provides all the production resources, such as labor and equipment for our production. Wastewater generated from the Chapatre estate is channeled through underground sewer line, which ends up into our treatment plant. Wastewater generated from the community is first received into our triple biogas digester before it is discharged into the waste stabilization pond system. The waste stabilization pond system is made up of series of ponds. The first pond receives water coming from the triple biogas digester and after the water moves into the first pond, the water is channeled again into a second pond followed by a third and a fourth one. This pond is the maturation pond that receives water from the facultative pond. That is where we have our fish cultured. And the standard of this water is compared to that of EPA Ghana for fish production. In order to overcome the culture perception where people avoid eating fish from treated wastewater, Fish harvested from the pond is sent into a depuration tank where the fish is cleaned with clean water and sent into the hatcheries to serve as brood stock to take the eggs to produce fingerless in the hatchery. These fingerlings are further sold to farmers whilst others are sent to an outside tank for grow outs. This concrete tank it's a culture tank that receives fingerlings produced from the hatchery. This tank receives clean water from underground, which has nothing to do with wastewater. The fish here are cultured and fed until they reach table size for human consumption. This is our processing shed where we process the fish harvested from the concrete tank for packaging and for sale. Wastewater produced from the concrete tanks are not discharged into the environment, but it is treated and channeled to the greenhouse for irrigational purpose to grow vegetables.
Now, I shall send the other hand when you cry because now then you know you mura. Sent a warning yet. Very maintenance was say almost nine yet. By saying I may have the day project to win a buy in. I'm a hand my come up. You mura and say, Mura be any this aquaculture center has been very beneficial to the assembly and uh, the, the, the reason is that as the assembly strive to achieve the sustainable development goal 6 which talks about provision of clean water and sanitation it, it has become very handy that uh, Trimark aquaculture center has partnered the assembly and we've come together to introduce a system that is novel in terms of sanitation in 2019 the KMA was agile the best sanitation city and this is a facility that won us the award. Aside even our award, the, the private sector partner, which is Tramac Aquaculture, was also awarded with a prize money of $100,000 to boost the operations of the site. We believe that this is something that can be replicated in other facilities that are available. Even as we speak, we have made a, several proposals to international partners to discuss I mean, replicating such a, such a facility at the Asafo Ponds, which is bigger than this one. And we believe that other cities in the assembly can also follow suit to help raise the status of our, our, of our nation in terms of sanitation. As part of the Trimark future plans, we are to replicate this same model in the potential cities such as Tamale, Takrade, Hu, and Accra, but still looking for funding support. By enabling recovery of resources, circular economy business models implemented by the International Water Management Institute and its partners offer great opportunities. They help enhance the sustainability of wastewater treatment plants and they also contribute to food security, better health and better livelihoods.